This is Tomo News for Monday, February 12th. Customer service at its greatest. A college student in America is alleging that she flushed her emotional support hamster down a toilet after Spirit Airlines wouldn't let her on board with the furry critter. Come again? Back in November, 21 year old Balin Aldecosea said she asked Spirit Airlines twice about flying with her dwarf hamster Pebbles, and the airline gave her the green light. Pebbles was a doctor approved emotional support animal that helped Aldecosea when she developed a growth on her neck while at school. The student said she bought Pebbles for some company. When Aldecosea arrived in Baltimore for a flight home to Fort Lauderdale in late November, Spirit Airlines wouldn't let her bring Pebbles on board. The student claimed a Spirit employee suggested she either let the animal free or flush Pebbles down the toilet. What kind of suggestion is this? Aldecosea considered letting Pebbles run free but thought it would be more humane to quickly end the hamster's life, so down it went. See ya, Pebbles. In regards to the incident, Aldecosea is considering filing a lawsuit against the airline company. The student's lawyer said the airline denies that an employee suggested she flush Pebbles the hamster. A spirit representative said they were sorry their agent was unable to provide her with correct info regarding animals allowed on board, and it is incredibly disheartening to hear she decided to end Pebbles' life. Ultrasonic Micromanagement Jeff Bezos and the folks at Amazon are taking employee micromanagement to a whole new level. The company recently patented designs for a wireless wristband to track warehouse workers' hands. The patent describes a system that steers employees' hands to the correct box. So if your hands go to the wrong place, that wristband is going to buzz like a Toa new sub with notifications turned on. Now, the company told GeekWire the plan with this is to free up workers' wrists and eyes from scanners. So it's totally not for tracking those bathroom breaks, but hey, Amazon's already got that covered with reports of alleged time to toilet breaks. The Verge writes, the technology seems dystopian, but we reckon it seems more Bizonian. Deadly Crash Kills 71 a Russian plane crashed on Sunday, killing everyone on board and ending a 440-day streak without passenger airliner fatalities. Saratov Airlines Flight 703 was set to fly from Moscow to Orsk with 65 passengers and six crew members. The Antonov AN-148 jet took off at 2.21 p.m., but reportedly disappeared from radar about five minutes later. The plane descended rapidly, with eyewitnesses saying it was on fire as it fell from the sky and crashed near a village outside Moscow. Authorities searching through fragments of the wreckage have recovered the plane's black box and confirmed the deaths of all 71 people on board. Investigators have yet to determine what caused the crash, but say weather conditions or pilot error are possibilities. Israel blows up Iran drone this is the moment an Israeli Apache helicopter blew up an Iranian drone. An Iranian drone was shot down on Saturday morning in northern Israel by the Israeli military. According to the Times of Israel, the drone was destroyed by an attack helicopter that engaged it after it flew inside Israel's airspace. The Iranian aircraft is said to be called a Thunderbolt drone. It is reportedly reverse-engineered from an American RQ-170 Sentinel spy drone that Tehran captured in 2011. Both models bear resemblance to the B-2 stealth bomber. Here's the explosion again, courtesy of Israeli Defense Forces. <laughs>